quite excited about what's happening. Um, what I do know is that we're going to be working with some MCs who are going to walk around on this floor and create freestyle rhymes based upon the stuff on the floor, right? Ah, right, that's what we're doing now, okay. Is that cool? Chicken. Jellyfish. Chicken. And what was the other one? Radiator. Radiator. All right, guys, so listen out for the rhymes. And whoever mentions these words cleverly, you make some noise for them. Really simple, yeah? Okay, DJ, let's run the beat, let's see what happens. Oh. Who wants it first? Oh, I might as well get out of the way, innit? Well, okay. I guess that could be me. James to the old NZIFC. What are we gonna do? You know I'm so fly. I hold your arm and then we unify. Oh, yo, that vibe was kicking. Yo, pass me some chicken. It's time to think me looking like KFC. Just let me be. But it's your pants get cold, G. So that gives me plenty of energy. Oh, yeah, we be fly just like the aviator. And the MCs are getting hotter than a radiator. Yo, let me get on the mic. It's do or die. Everybody in the fucking place unified. Get all together. Doesn't matter even bad or good weather. Cause you know the shots is too clever. I forgot the word, maybe I'm not that clever. Oh, what's the next word? Jellyfish. That's absurd. So what are we gonna do? I'm smelling it. You can't touch me like a jellyfish. Or okay, I go by the name of John ZD and I'm the artistic director of Breaking Convention. Oh yeah! Okay now. I just got off of a train coming to Blackpool, yeah, and I got picked up at Preston, I had to drive down, quite hectic, aware that something was starting at three o'clock. I ended up getting here after three to what is basically a massive block party, and it was amazing, dude. I was told already that um, everybody's waiting for me, so I was a bit nervous because of that. As soon as I jumped off the um, car, just saw a whole bunch of people by the stage, hip hop music bumping, and I heard man on the mic and oh, here's the man himself, John ZD, John ZD. So I'm obviously, you know, um, what does Sir Alex Ferguson say? Squeaky bum time, I think. <laughs> so I'm walking down now, um, and fortunately I didn't have to do something straight away. They chucked me on the stage and they said, oh, John Z, um, yeah, yeah, we got something for you, John Z, got something. So now I'm really worried, you know, because times like that you get a strip of gram or something like that, so I was nervous. Anyway, burst out into the big flash mob and there was like hundreds of people dancing in the middle there. And yeah, they did it for me apparently. So um, it's been great. I love Blackpool so far. It's, uh, it's been an awesome day. We had the weather for it as well. Yeah, man. And um, I think that's the beautiful thing about Breaking Convention, that we are blessed. Whenever we want to do something outside, for some reason, the weather's always really nice. So um, um, it happens in London. We did a park jam this year. We did a park jam the year before. This is the first time that we've done an open air thing as part of Breaking Convention in Blackpool. And look at this lovely weather. Ah, oh, it's a bit cloudy, but the weather's nice and it's warm. So we're loving it. Sir, there's quite a few youngins today as well. Yes, the kids. Okay, so, okay. When I first did Breaking Convention and there were loads of kids around, I worried a bit. Because I've always figured that hip hop is like an, an over 18 thing, you know. Um, I guess the whole parental guidance and all that kind of stuff. But actually, that's when hip hop started getting a bit commercial. The true essence of hip hop is exactly what we had today. The Park Jam, you know what I mean? Anybody who is part of the first generation of hip hop will say that that's what happened. Parties during the day that were actually filled up with kids. And it was from young people that the style of breaking actually came from. So now I get it, yeah? This culture, of course it's for kids. They love it, do you know what I mean? But it's also for us adults too. So, you're a rapper? I am an MC that MC, hasn't MC for a while. MC the way I'm <laughs> so, uh, how long have you been doing that? 
Um, I've been emceeing since about 1982, 83. Um, and I guess for me it was just a way of expressing myself and I used to copy other rappers like Schoolie D in particular. Um, he did a track called Parkside Killers back in the day. Um, and because he was such a naughty man, you know what I mean, talking about girls and this, that and the other, as a pubescent young boy, that was the most exciting thing to listen to, you know what I mean? So that was really what I got into. But I have to say, hip hop is, back in the day, you didn't just do one aspect. You know what I mean? Everybody who was in the first generation of hip hop in this country attempted all of the culture, because that's what everybody did. Attempted a little bit of writing, graph, um, MCing, DJing, and then you find out what's your best thing. Do you know what I mean? Um, I still haven't worked out what my best thing is. So uh, hip hop can get a bit of a bad rap at times. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yep, hip hop does get a bad rep. What can we say? What we can say is this, don't believe the hype, yeah? Um, I don't know any MCs that rap about um, having millions of pounds, because we don't have millions of pounds. It's such a small minority of MCs that have got this extra kind of bling kind of thing that wears all this gold. Most MCs ain't like that, do you know what I mean? So it's obvious that that it's a lie, you know? Um, also, this thing about gangsters and violence and stuff like that. I'm sorry, real gangsters don't rap. They're being gangsters, you know what I mean? The MCs that use this kind of t the, the, the terminology, I think that it's much more sinister than that. I think record companies are requesting that MCs talk all this bollocks. That's what I really believe. And I think that um, the amount of MCs that don't talk about that stuff versus the amount of MCs that we hear in the media talking about that stuff makes me question that there's something wrong here. So uh, what does the future hold for you? The future! <laughs> It's out there. And I mean that. Um, I've got plans, but what's beautiful about plans is when they take a sudden corner which makes you discover something that you'd never thought of before. So, as well as having lots of plans as to developing Breaking Convention, developing Breaking Convention TV in particular, but um, I'm excited about the stuff that we don't know around the corner. That's awesome. Yes, I've got no words to say, so I'm just making it up. Well, I'm sensitive yes. to say, I don't give a... Yo, get a look. All right, gang. Uh, I'm Jay Madden, yeah. uh, Blackpool's finest homegrown MC. Been here since day, and that's how I am. I've been doing this since I was uh, like 15. So I'm 31 now, so... God, 16 years, can you believe that? 16 years, God, I can't believe I've been doing it for that long. Wouldn't one change a second of it though. So, so uh, what made you go into hip hop? Uh, originally, I was into dance music, you know. Um, but I started to get really into the MCs that I was MCing over the dance tracks. Uh, and then my mate just introduced me and said, look, if you like lyrics rather than the actual music, then check this. And I think it was, it was either Biggie Smalls or Snoop was the first thing I listened to. And that was it, I was just hooked since then. I just converted to hip hop straight away. So, what do you see coming up in your future then? Uh, Dole Office, isn't it? That's the next stop. Past the Bible. But nah, um, I don't know, you, 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 you can't. You can't set everything out in stone with how life is, because life just isn't like that. I mean, we'd all like to be like, you know what I mean, famous, making money off this, I mean, but I don't make money of that. I've got a son to, to look after and what have you. So, I don't I don't really know. Just live for the moment, I guess. So, what made you want to get involved in the whole breaking I think the whole concept is absolutely, I think it's fantastic. I mean, the turnout here is, is uh, it's, it's immense, because black people gets a bad rep, and it's so hard to believe that hip hop can bring so many people together, do you know what I mean? So, 
it's it was uh, it was quite an honour to be uh, to be involved with it and for them to want me to host for it. I just think it's a fantastic thing. It's a great, yeah. It's, it's brilliant. The, the whole culture behind it and what they're trying to do is brilliant. Look at this. The straight spitting. I'd like to go KFC get some chicken. I eat the whole meal. Then I go and the Here in Blackpool. Yep, the sunny Crazy. sunny seaside resort of Blackpool, as you can see. The sun's gone away a little bit now, all right, but still, what a beautiful day it's been for it. Beautiful. It's been absolutely amazing. Yeah. So, uh, what's breaking convention to me? What's it to you? What's breaking convention to me is it, it's a unity of all hip hip hop culture, all the different elements of hip hop. Like you've got you know, ourselves, the MCs. You've got the break dancers. The DJs, the scratching, all the elements to hip hop coming together as a unit, and it's a good vibe. It's a real good so vibe. So you're actually an MC. Then. I am, yeah. I'm a well, I'm a, a rapper, MC rapper, whatever, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> How long have you been doing that? I've actually been rapping for since I was 17. I'm 30 now. Sadly, I'm 30. <laughs> Over the hill. But no, I, I still love, I love doing it. I've been doing it for, for 12, 13 years. Uh, when I first started out, obviously there's a learning curve that you go through and then you start to progress as you do with anything that you practice at. So if there's any budding MCs, rap artists that are out there, then stick to it, put in the practice, even freestyling. I, I used to practice freestyling non-stop. I mean, I, I, I can I can freestyle for like an hour straight, pretty much now because I practice for that for that much. May not all make sense, like, <laughs> but it, it brings a good, I, I can bring a good vibe to the freestyle. So yeah, any budding artists out there, make sure you put that practice in. So what's it up to you? Hip hop to me, it's a, hip hop to me. It's been a lifestyle, a complete sort of. It was a change to my lifestyle when I first started getting involved with hip hop. You know, getting on the hip hop scene. Uh, a massive li sort of lifestyle change to, to the normal English, you know, the normal English life that, that most lads live, you know, when they're 17, 18, they're not necessarily into hip hop music, you know, they go out and party, go uptown to nightclubs, dance music and everything like that. Where it was with me, as soon as I got the bug for hip hop, it just bit me from there on. Everything that I, from there on, everything that I, that I did was all about hip hop and rather than, you know, all, most folks in Blackpool go to dance clubs, I was going to hip hop clubs in Manchester, uh, liaising with all these other dope artists from around the UK. And yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been brilliant, to be honest. I, I'm, I'm so happy that I've been involved in, in hip hop. Yes, it's a bad rep, it's it does get a bad rep with some of the, the, you know, the lyrical content that comes out in a lot of people's songs. It can be, you know, it's the word, they, they, you know, they can be like sexist remarks. You know, Eminem came, when Eminem first came out with, with all of that stuff, that was, you know, it was a groundbreaking thing because those sort of things hadn't been said before on, on hip hop records, really. The sort of stuff that he was saying, you, you know, you had gangster rap from NWA when, when that bega began and everything. Um, and like, I suppose gangster rap sort of got a, got a negative vibe as well. Um, but yeah, it does get it does get a lot, lot of negativity. But I find that these days now there's a lot more artists that are coming with more popular music. Uh, sorry, positive music. Um, like in America, you did have groups that were, that were coming out with the positive stuff. Jurassic Five, Jurassic Five had a lot of positive lyrics in there. Della Soul. Um, there's, there's a lot. Of, there are a lot, a lot of positive artists, and there are negative artists as well. You know, a lot of lifestyle things are reflected through hip hop. Um, you know, with people that, that take drugs and things like that. But nowadays, I, do, I probably have been through a phase myself of doing these sort of lyrics. But then you, you, you know, you get to an age where where you grow up, um, and then you can start bringing more positive lyrics into into your subject matter. There's some, some quite a few young ones today as well. Yeah, there was a lot of young young breakdance uh, artists. The kid in the, uh, the Lakers vest having a battle off with, with the little girl in the red top. That was amazing. They've got some good moves for, for how old they are. And, you know, it's, it's a culture now that's spreading throughout throughout the UK and really throughout the world. If, it, if you went back, you know, 10, 20 years, you, you wouldn't see, you know, kids of that age doing breakdancing. Break 
compared to today, you know, because of, of the whole culture of hip hop now, it's a lot more popular throughout the world. You know, you, you, you're able to get kids like Diversity, for instance, you know, they've they're got, got a bit of breaking moves and stuff like that. And yeah, it's getting a lot more popular with young people. Today, I'm bigger than kids. All right, yeah, boys. I understand that you're not that deep, boy. But them curlies see, boy. Because that girls feel deep joy. That's not disgusting. Obviously, because I'm just playing muffins. Don't you see on the microphone stand? Yeah, I'm free because I'm the man. Step on and give it on tour. Like Arthur Rackinson, where's the washboard? Yes, I'm back, go. Did any of you used to watch the fast? I'm Scott Rogan, uh, representing the Charlie Monkeys, also part of government. So, I let you go, boy. We got the Fresh of the Charlie Monkeys, I'm a DJ. So, uh, how long have you been DJing? Uh, good 20 odd years, since about 14. Everyone, everyone seems to have been doing it so long today. Yeah, you are, I think you've got to be. If you know what you're doing, you've got to be in it for a while. It's been you've got to know your history. It's been a pretty awesome day today. It's been an awesome day, yeah, good turnout, great weather. Loads of kids joining in. Yeah, great family do. Yeah, so, for everybody. Why hip hop? Why? Just love it. Started out buying records. I mean, hip hop's not just rap music, it's all sorts, you know, it's all jazz, punk, soul. So when you're starting out, you can't afford records, you have to go car booting, you have to dig out the 50 Ps, and you know, you get a collection of all sorts rather than just one genre. So. 
it is it's today. Not, it's not a choice, We're it's just... Using the old Serato. Yeah, Serato, Serato, Serato. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. Yeah, you can't be that. Coat stays carrying crates and crates of records. Yeah. Been there, done that. Back's not into it anymore, so flash stick. Yeah, same for Thousands me. of tunes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what is hip hop to you? Six letters. It's a way of life, isn't it? Yeah. I don't want to be come out with all the cliches of you know what it is, but it's uh, it is what it is. It's a way of life. It's all the music, it's the break in. My brother grew up, uh, grew up my brother being in uh, graffiti and all that. One sec. Okay. Um, we need to get some audience members to make it a bit more difficult for us. Yeah. We will freestyle here, but audience members, if you could hold something up for us. Or come out and, and we'll rhyme about it, yeah? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, take this freestyle, right? Everybody must stand in the centre if you've got something for us to freestyle about so you can see it really clearly, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Damn, my man can hang. What we gonna do when you understand? Yeah. Cause we be all crew And it seems like you be one crew With mad swagger You probably walk about like a ragger Not respect to that Cause you got the light Take that And then you turn it on And you got a Bruce Lee there on your arm How'd you manage that? Damn, you need to manage a rap I did your rap, yes I went to school He's wearing that top that's Liverpool And yo, yes I come with the darkness And I stick my middle finger up in Suarez <laughs> Yo, yeah, yo, you got on the mic recorder And yo, I'm tasteless just like this water That I be drinking And now I'm thinking Coming up at the top of the door when I'm spitting Yo, that's it to J Madden And yo, J Madden, gonna hit the sky when it comes to living cool, you know I'll expose ya Pass me that Pepsi, now I prefer Coca-Cola Every time I be busting on the bottle Giving it full throttle You know I'm just straight hot scotch in I'm thinking of one thing And then I'm like, yo, passing it to John Z Woman than a onesie Don't know what I'm saying, probably be laying Always displaying Always displaying, always playing I'm on the microphone, always playing Wank MCs could be yellow, green, black or white MCs It doesn't really matter we're all in this together, no matter the weather, we remain clever. Look at this board, I'm never boring. On the microphone like goals, I'll be scoring. Like Suarez, but I'm better. Tottenham supporter, whatever. Okay, no disrespect, because I love Liverpool. They get the tech. 